What's going on everyone? Andrew here again with Total Running Productions exclusive. And today I wanted to talk about uh, a world record that happened in 2021, specifically Arion Knighton, the 18-year-old superstar from the United States who not only won many 200 meter races on the international scene, including a Diamond League race, but he also destroyed the world junior record, as many of you remember, with his 19.49 performance on April 30th uh, at a small meet in LSU. Now, he was competing against a few world-class athletes, including Joseph von Belay, who did run a 19.92 in this race. But really, this 19.49 has to be one of the greatest world junior records, if not the greatest world junior record on the track that I have witnessed in the past decade. This was just unfathomably fast. One of the most impressive performances from a junior athlete in recent memory. But the reason I wanted to talk about it today was one, to discuss new updated splits that have actually come out. And I'll leave a link down below. This is on track and field news. I haven't seen these splits recently. They're very comparable to Usain Bolt. And there's also some ratification drama around this record and potentially this record may not be ratified by World Athletics for a few reasons. So uh, first thing I wanted to touch on was the splits that were released. Um, they say his splits were 10.3 through the 100, which isn't super fast. It's very impressive, but we've seen a lot of people go right around 10.1 this season. And again, he's 18. This is incredible. I don't want to downplay this performance at all, but it was the second half that really threw him into stardom because he ran a 9.2. Just crazy. Just incredibly fast. 9.2 is in the top five fastest ever. And if the first half was 10.3 and the total time was actually 19.49, then potentially that means his second 100 was 9.19. Now, these only go to the tenth of a second, so... It's hard to say exactly what the splits were here, but either way, he was clearly under 9.3 for the second half, so this man has huge potential, and his performances speak for themselves. But on to the world record ratification process. Now, I have on good word that this world record, unfortunately, will not be ratified because A, he did not have an official drug test after or before this competition, and B, the wind readings are being put into question. Now, the wind reading officially was 1.4 meters per second, underneath the 2.0 meters per second wind limit, but currently there's word that the wind readings were actually inaccurate. So this potentially is troublesome, but really I think it's the lack of drug testing that is going to leave this in limbo. And, and to be honest, I'm not 100% sure exactly how these testing ratification processes work. I did a little bit of reading on them, and they do have some rules and regulations as to the ratification process. In fact, I'll leave a link to this down below, because it could very well affect this world record being ratified. And even if this 19.49 isn't ratified, I think that Knighton is going to be able to do this in 2023, because he turns 19 in January, which means he has an entire extra year of junior world record eligibility on the track. This man has just completely rewritten the record books for junior world records in the 200, and from what I can remember, he has the top 9 placements out of 10 from the world junior record with Usain Bolt's 19.93 also cutting into the top 10, but Knighton pretty much owns this discipline in the junior rankings, and come 2023, you better believe he's going to come out guns blazing, rapid fire, ready to rock. He's going to be a world championship medal contender again. And if anything, I would love to see Noah Lyles and Arian Knighton really take on that rivalry and push them both into new times. Obviously, Noah Lyles ran a 19.31. And given how good he's done since 2020, I think that Knighton has the ability to consistently run under 19.6 in a similar way that Noah Lyles ran 2022. But at the moment, this is kind of unfortunate because 19.49 is amazing, but rules are rules, and I suppose that uh, if a, an exception is made for this, even though it does look legit in a lot of ways, it does need to be put under more scrutiny for other performances in the future to make sure that they're all ratified in the same way. So, so yeah, this 19.49, even though we've made probably 10 plus videos on it, looks like it may not be officially ratified as a world record, so we'll have to just wait and see what happens. Um, and if it does get ratified, that's great. If not, I think Knighton's going to be remembered as one of the best junior sprinters of all time. And one more thing that I wanted to touch on is the fact that he has not broken 10 seconds yet. He will do that in 2023. Mark my words. He is going to be 19. He is going to be in his final year of junior running. Only two athletes have ever done it in the junior rankings. You've got Letzile Tobogo from Botswana, and you also have Trayvon Brumel from the United States. Only sub-10 athletes in junior record history. So I think Knight's going to join the club. Yeah, 19.49 performance may not be ratified. So yeah, that's the current update on the sprinting world today, and that's pretty much it. See ya.